I'm 7 of 7 and welcome to part 30 of my Dragon Quest 8 walkthrough. Uh, right now we're in the midst of some cutscenes where Angelo is busting us out of jail. So, last part he wasn't being such a douchebag as we might have thought he was. I seasoned his supper with a generous pinch of sleeping powder. Perfect. It worked. Sleeping like a baby. I think they have uh, Angelo's voice a little bit too low. Because you can't hear him, like he just runs off a little bit at the end. Great. We're safe in here. Of some of his uh, speech, so. Good. Tell us what's going on. What ordeal do you intend to put us through next? Hmm? Like I said, I'm sorry about before. If I hadn't lied about the ring, Marcello would have been onto me like a shot. And I haven't got anywhere else to go if I'm chucked out of here. But I came to get you out, didn't I? Come on, don't be angry. Anyway, let me show you something you won't have seen. Well, what is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna die! There. And that's real blood on those spikes, you know. If I were to throw you in there and shut the door, your whole body would be skewered. I could make you holier than thou without so much as getting my hand. Ha, <laughs> holier than thou, ha, get it, ha, 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 shut the hell up. Yeah? Oh! Oh! Aha! There's a secret passage in here! On the way! Like I said, not bad. So obviously, uh, you're gonna climb straight on into that. To the Iron Maiden. Of Arnas. What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. Sorry if I've confused you. The people here have a bit of a trust issue with me. I have not noticed. It would have backfired. The man who interrogated you, Marcello, is a douchebag. What? Hates me. That's why I had to let him put you in the cell. And I hate him. That's all well you still don't know us from Adam. The feeling is you definitely about mutual. Us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? True, I don't know anything about you. And I wasn't there when you were caught. But I do know you saved the abbot's life. Because just before you were brought to the interrogation room, the sinister feeling that's been lingering in the air went away. I must thank you for that. I'm not so ruthless that I'd hang you out to dry. And besides, I couldn't stand by while there was a lady in trouble. Marcello's a rather talented inquisitor, you know. He actually had no valid Sleep points at all, but whatever. There's no items or anything in here, so just go out the door. And, well, let me think. No, it won't. It 
is going to show this. OMG, the Abbey is on fire. It's the whole Abbey on fire. Surely that just no, it's just the bridge for some reason. Oh no. I've got to save the Abbey. No. No. Now, you should be able to recognize this area. Uh, this is the area we passed where the, I said the little barn type thing was. Yeah, that's where we were just inside. Uh, before we went over off to the left of the road a little and got that treasure chest a ways, like, four parts ago or something? I don't remember. Yeah, that's when that was. Or that's where we are now. So, just get back up on the road. I don't know what on earth got stuck on right there, I don't know. So you'll probably have to fight several battles on your way back over, but... After going through the Ruined Abbey, these battles should be even easier than they were the first time around. there. Okay, you haven't been able to save in a while, so I probably suggest you go ahead and do that. Uh, even though there's a bunch of people out here, the guy is still available to save. So you can just go on and do that. <laughs> I left my PS2 on forever. <laughs> That's like 27 hours. Good God. Yeah, I would hope I'm, like, far, far ahead of you in hours. It's probably, like... Gee, I'm probably, like, 70 hours over where you should be. <laughs> if you've just played straight through. You're gonna be heading back towards the Templar's Quarters now. And this time you're gonna be able to go straight across that bridge. Uh, there's no guards on it this time because, well, it's on fire, so, yeah. But you brave adventurers can go right across. Now a cutscene is going to start, and that's going to take up pretty much the rest of this. I did warn you there were going to be like four whole parts of this going to be all cutscenes and there's a lot of events that take place here. For good reason. Huh? What your lingo, you boy? The Damn. The presence again. No, not sinister. It's worse than that. It's no. It's pure evil. What? It's locked from the inside. Angelo is such a badass. Are you in there? Damn. What's going on? It's no good. It won't budge. No, Marcello and his pussy ass self are probably somewhere else. Crying in fear in a corner. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, well that's just gonna about do it for this part. So yeah, in the next part we're gonna finish up some cutscenes and some pretty exciting things happen. So thanks for watching.